Hello everybody, welcome to Lee Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Lee Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. So uh, moving on with more white wines. Uh, this is a wine I've had in my cellar, so to speak, for quite, actually quite a while. Um, I got off of Underground Cellar and uh, for 12 bucks and I've been kind of holding it to like be like a wine to use for tasting group. But when it's from, well first of all it's supposed to be from Napa Valley, not Russian River. Um, but when it's like California Sauvignon Blanc, it's supposed to be oaked, and this one isn't quite an oaked wine, partially oaked, but um, let's just, I'm gonna review it because it's a 2012. So 2012, Sticky Beak Sauvignon Blanc from the Russian River Valley, $12 underground cellar offer. So you're probably not gonna find it there. Um, so Sticky Beak, so there's a name behind this, but there's a, there's a story behind the name. Um, I'm just going to read what their, <clears throat> their copy says. It says, ever, ever been curious enough to stick your nose over someone's uh, fence to see what's going on or peer through a crack in a front gate just to get a better look? Uh, we have. Some people might say we're busybodies or nosy neighbors, although we prefer the Australian term sticky beak. I like that term. Uh, and being Napa-based wine folk, it's hard to resist being curious about the stunning wines in regions that we admire. In fact, as inquisitive vintners, which is which is on their uh, which is on their label, what's on their their uh, logo, and it's it's a it's a fence with a little hole in it. And then anyway, um, it seemed only natural that we'd have a bit of a sticky beak and produce our own wines from these areas. So this comes from the Russian River Valley, 100% Sauvignon Blanc. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, it's from the Cooler Mirabelle site on West Side Road in the foggy Russian River AVA. Uh, let's see here, the hand-picked hand fruit is brought in at first light, naturally chilled by the cool, cold valley air. In the winery, we are pretty much hands-off. The majority of the juice is fermented in stainless steel with neutral yeast to retain fresh, lively characters of the grape. Small portion is barrel-fermented in second-use French oak. French oak barriques to add a savory mid-palate texture. So, got a little screw cap action. I get to use my Corbin screw cap stuff. I think this is, oh, it's the right one to use. Again, thank you to the people at Corbin for sending me this stuff. So I can do uh, screw caps. Alrighty, must be plenty. It's definitely the lightest of the wines I've done today so far. All right, I got my cartridge just in case I run out of gas during this segment. Guess what? Pete, no, it doesn't have peaches and oranges in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but definitely grapefruit and like, yeah, definitely that grapefruit and okay, maybe a touch of orange, not really, but grapefruit, a little bit of lemon, like, um, like a lemon, like a lemonade. Okay. Like a lemonade, they forgot to put the sugar in, but yeah, just, it's just kind of pungent. Like, like it should be. Yeah, it's pretty much dominated by that. Um, you know, being second use French oak, it is a small portion, it's barrel fermented. It's really not picking up too much of the oak barrels, at least not on the palate, it's not. But it's definitely got a little bit of green to it. 
uh, just a touch, just a touch of that bell pepper, maybe more of a jalapeno rather than bell pepper. Pineapple, so it's got that Hawaiian pizza thing going on. Okay, so let me just say this right off the bat. On the aroma and the palate, I would not peg this as a seven-year-old wine. I mean, maybe like a couple of, I wouldn't see this as a 2018 necessarily, but the acidity is still there. It's still ripping high acid. The fruit, um, very bright, not oxidized. Um, that could be more from the screw cap than anything else. Um, though they make screw caps that have like a similar, what they call OTR, oxygen transfer rate, um, to cork. Um, but I suspect that this one is not going to be something that's going to let in a lot of oxygen. Um, but it doesn't have that reductive quality either. Like it didn't, it doesn't, it's not stinky and sulfury because it sat under screw cap for seven years or like maybe six and a half years. But yeah, I mean, it tastes fresh and vibrant, maybe for like two or three years. Like I may, I might guess like a 17, maybe a 16, but I don't think I would go like older than 16, never on this. And the, the, the amount of oak that's used, very, very low. I know it said, um, I think they, I need, didn't they say the, didn't they say 5%? No, that was the other one. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's super vibrant. And I thought maybe it says something in here. No, it didn't. Um, it's definitely a crisp wine. Uh, it tastes really good. Now, from what I can tell, this is the only year they made it because I'm on the Old Bridge Cellars. That's who actually distributes them. I think Old Bridge Cellars like, has a whole bunch of brands. The Sticky Beak is one of them. So when you look at the Sticky Beak wines on the Old Bridge Cellar um, website, they only have one vintage of Sauvignon Blanc. They have a vintage of something called Toscana from 2011. Let's see what that says. Uh, tasting note. Oh, it's actually from San it actually is from Tuscany. It's a, it's a super test in San Giovese, Merlot, and Syrah. 18 months in French oak from 11. How interesting. Um, so, I mean, they, I don't see anything later than 2015, so I don't know if they make anything. Oh, they have a 2016 Chardonnay. But um, I have a feeling that they don't make anything after that. Kind of sucks because it's pretty good. I mean, for $10. Right? 10 bucks? Yeah. For 10, no, $12. Huh. It's good. I mean, it tastes like Sauvignon Blanc. Nothing complex. It tastes like a 10 to $12 bottle of wine. But, um, definitely tastes like it's supposed to. Cool. All right. Click the links above to frame me up. Click the links below to find out more about Old Bridge Cellars and Stinky Beak. Stinky. Sticky Beak. Um, yeah. Do, do. And then donate button over there. Send some ducats my way to help with the cost of Oregon. And we'll see everyone again next time.